Hey YouTube, Candy Operative here, and as many of you know, this is my 60th video. Uh, my last one was 59, so I'm sure many of you may have seen that and realized that this is my 60th one. So I decided I was going to do something a little bit special, and some of you may have heard in a couple of videos ago, not a couple, like in my 50th video, um, maybe a little bit before then, I explained how my epic long shot had broken. Well, uh, a couple months ago I fixed it. I never told you guys I fixed it because I was waiting for this video. Um, I've never actually done an at the firing range video or a firing specific video for my epic long shot ever. Uh, it still needs some work. I still need to do uh, some repairs uh, to make it more sturdy. I'm going to use some plexiglass for that. And uh, I still need to reattach the sights. So I don't have any sights on it right now. Um, as well as do some bondo work, re sand it, and repaint it. Uh, but one cool thing that I have done to it, other than repair it, is uh, right now I'm using the vertical foregrip from the Stampede. It makes it insanely comfortable. It's such a comfortable gun, it's not even funny. Plus it makes it look way cooler, if you ask me. I don't know. Not that I would ever use the bipod on the bottom, but uh, yeah, it is very cool. And uh, I'm excited to shoot it on camera for you guys today. So as you can tell, I have uh, my lock and load uh, on my shoulder holster right now. And uh, I'm rocking the fanny pack to uh, hold all my ammunition. I have probably 40 Steffens in here. I'm only going to fire about 20 of them. Um, but yeah, I just decided to get in my uh, Nerf War attire uh, just for the sake of this video. So, uh, and also, it's cold out, so I'm wearing a coat and some nice figureless gloves. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get behind the camera, zoom in on the target that I always use for my at the firing range videos. I backed up the camera a little bit, so it's a little bit farther away from the target than before because my epic long shot has great range. But yeah, that white circle is the target for any of you that haven't seen my previous e previous at the firing range videos. And uh, yeah, so actually I'll zoom out and uh, first I'll show you guys reloading the gun. So I just prime it back, take a dart out of my dart holder, dart, put the dart in there close it and that's it so now I will zoom in on the target and I will fire alright let's see how this works I'm firing right next to the target I've never done this before so we'll see if I can hit it on the first try three two one boom and that moved the target so I'm gonna fire from the other side of the camera because the target has turned a little bit uh, so, if you're looking at some of my other, or if you've seen any of my other at the firing range videos, I'm sure you can tell, or you'll be able to tell by the end of this video, how much better this gun is than <laughs> any of my others, which is why I love this primary so much. Alright, firing in three, two, one. That was a little bit high. The range and accuracy this gun is quite incredible though. I really do enjoy it a lot. Firing in three, two, one. That was a hit. The target keeps turning, so I'm gonna walk over to it and, and turn it back to its normal position. Reloading. Closing the bolt. Aiming. And firing. Three, two, one. As you can tell, that was to the right a little bit. And one other thing is my darts are shit darts right now. They suck. So, any of the times where I miss, please don't blame that on the gun. Blame that on my horrible dart making skills. <clears throat> All right, firing in three, two, one. That was like right in the center. That was a beautiful shot. Sweetness. Closing the breach. All right, aiming. Firing in three, two, one. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out and see if I can fire at the target. I'll zoom out more. 
There we go. I'll see if I can fire out at the target. Uh, wow, I actually have used like almost all my darts already. All right, well. <clears throat> see if I can fire out the target with the gun like this. That'll be really difficult, but we'll see if I can do it. Firing in three, two, one. Yeah, I can't aim like that. That dart was way high. I apologize for my horrible aiming skills, everybody. They actually suck. Like, I've hit the target, what, two or three times? Twice, maybe? Alright. Let's see here. Alright. Firing in three, two, one. That was a little bit high, but I think you guys saw that pretty well, so. Damn. That was like almost right on the money. That was completely centered. Just Yeah, a lot of these darts vary in tightness in the barrel, which is another factor, which is starting to piss me off, actually, to be honest. Alright, coming from the other side. Firing in three, two, one. And high again. Yeah, I can't aim for shit. But at least you guys are getting to uh, see this gun on camera. Here's one last shot. Firing in three, two, one. Hi. All right, YouTube. So that's it. Um, not much to it. Just my epic long shot firing for you guys. I don't know, I guess I hit the target three times. It's not bad, uh, considering the shitty darts that I was using. Uh, I don't have any hot glue. I haven't had any hot glue for a while, so I will be able to make more darts for a long time. Uh, plus, I'm going to be putting 3.0 fishing weights in my darts instead of number 6 washers, so hopefully they won't fishtail as often. Uh, I'm noticing at Wars they're fishtailing, you know, every 5 to 10 shots, one, t one of those shots, like, fishtails, and it, it's annoying and frustrating. Um, because a gun this good should be able to have ammo just as good, you know? So, anyways, uh, that's the conclusion of my 60th video. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. And there is a plane flying right over. That's really cool. I like planes. Alright, see you guys. Candy Operative out.